Hello ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Maverick here and I'm back playing XCOM. Um, so first off I apologise for what happened at the end of uh, last week's episode. It's the first time I've ever tried to make a video this big. And uh, I just ran out of hard drive space and then the game went mental and wouldn't let me save. Um, so you missed a, a few things. I have noticed, I think the game might have actually auto-saved. So you may actually be able to see one or two things that um, you missed last week. Hope so anyway. There was some stuff about satellites and there was also engineering. Now, which one came first? I'm not sure, but we'd have to have a look. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Okay, so yeah, we have had this before, so um, we built the facility last time. Uh, but we can have a closer look at it. I did a bit of a rush. So, build facility. Now we got to work out where we want to put it. Now, Steam... Well, it's disabled at the moment, but that's where you want to build, um... Uh, power stations that use Steam. Um, these are excavated. So, in fact, looks we could... We, yeah, okay, I remember we could only build it here. Which is a shame, because I don't necessarily want to put it there. Um, so you have to excavate, excavate, Jesus, excavate an area, I apologise, my voice seems to have failed me, um, before you can build. So we can't build here yet because we have to excavate it. Um, and there's some areas that are kind of special. So let's build the facility, yeah, alien containment, done, be in construction. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan, personally. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Okay, and Commander, this would be about the sure been briefed on my request. gun that With can your authorization, capture aliens. We can begin research on the aliens. arc thrower immediately. Okay, the arc thrower. So... Yes, yeah, so this will incapacitate aliens, but it won't, um, it won't kill it. So that sounds useful. So again, Commander we'll do that. I believe that brings us up to where we were last time. So let's pop off to mission control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter Ooh. indicating UFO sightings there. within I think our it's current okay. satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. Okay. Right, so scan for activity. And Korax and Vega have uh We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. Okay. Uh yeah, go for it. So this will be the um the Air combat. So there, are, there, are, you actually have airplanes and stuff. It's nothing like the ground combat, from what I know. I think it's all kind of automated. Uh, so click to launch jet. And here's our jet. Have to take on a UFO. Good luck. What chance a jet has against a UFO? I'm not entirely sure, but benefit of the doubt. We have eyes on the bandits. Okay. Oh, good. Um, taking fire. Ah, so our, our all right. Our jet apparently has shut down the UFO. Also got incredibly damaged. Um, yeah. Okay. So it looks like we have a crashed UFO. Sweet. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. That does not look friendly. Still in one piece. Ooh. Commander, 
I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site. I agree. Okay, so time to get a strike team to the crash site. Time for the game to freeze up again. Is this a momentary freeze? Or is this a hard freeze? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. The game uh, froze for a bit there, but after I stopped recording it, it sparked up again into life. So um, hopefully it won't keep doing that, because that will get a bit annoying. Uh, okay, so we got a UFO crash site in, in Germany, which is bad, because uh, as you can see, our, um, our base is not too far off where it's crashed, although it looks like it's on the other side. I don't, I'm not even sure if we're in Germany. Is that Austria? Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to see the actual borders. I'm not too great with that part of Europe. Uh, but I think we might be in Austria or the very kind of um, uh, northeastern part of Germany. Uh, US, uh, UFO class is identified, unidentified, so send a Sky Ranger. I'm not sure what that is. Ah, okay, so Sky Ranger would be the transport. So, we have to pick our squad. Ah, and they're all promoted. So, let's go for our promotions. So, Jojo Bond. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Okay, and he's uh, gone up to Squaddy. And uh, is capable of headshotting. So... Excellent, that sounds very good. Um, can we edit his loadout at all? So he's got the nanofiber vest, which is fine because we don't really need him having. Um, so it doesn't look like we got the arc thrower yet. Not that I really want the sniper to have the arc thrower anyway. Uh, we've also got Vega, so he's gone up to Corporal. So let's edit him. So we've got. Um, bullet swarm. Firing primary weapons as the first action no longer ends the turn. Awesome. Um, shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to any allies attack attacks on those enemies. I prefer this one so he can just shoot right off the bat and then he can move again. Um, whereas this, you know, if I'm going to be shooting rockets at people, which I presume that's what that is, you know, I really want to kill. I don't really care about um, stuff like that. Or I want to take out their cover so other people can blast them down. So we're going to go with Bullet Swarm. No, I'll take it. And his loadout. Let's have a quick look. So Arc Thrower, not available there either. Rocket Launcher, keep him with the vest. Don't need him to have a grenade. So that's great, and Horax has also been upgraded to Squaddy. The support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Okay, awesome. So smoke grenades um, give plus twenty defense to all units. I presume that's all units within the smoke. But um, and let's customize. No, not customize that. Let's check his loadout. Got frag grenades. So I think the smoke grenade just comes with him. We're keeping with the grenades and and he's assault rifle only. So um, I also don't necessarily want to take these exact people. So that's the thing. We got a heavy. We could drop out Kozlova or Andrea and bring someone else in and train them up. <coughs> them up and you know rookies are quite good to use as assault because that's pretty much what they are they're just your box and the marine we'll keep Jelja in because we want the sniper for this mission and we want the heavy maybe drop out Horax as well so let's drop out these two squaddies and we're adding who have we got ah now we got Brian Nelson um, and we're gonna edit him uh customize last name M hatch confirm so Brian M hatch and for our second spot 
And we got a Ukrainian, Japanese. Um, hmm. I did promise JHS that he'd get his own um, squaddy. He said he wanted one Vega, but I don't really want to be calling um, an Argentinian JHS. Doesn't really make much sense to me. So let's go with the Ukrainian. And we're edit him. So he did tell me what first name he wants, but I've forgotten it. But that's okay because it looks like we can just add them in any time. But for the second name, we're gonna have J H S. Confirm. So J H S and M Hatch, welcome to the team. So they'll be filling our kind of like they'll be taking point and um, backing up the other two, trying to keep them alive. Rather not get either of them killed, but you know. As a rookie, that is your job. And without further ado, let's launch the mission. Just gonna have a sip of tea. Okay, so we've arrived at the site and we can begin assault. Our target site is near the German border. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay, so we want to, um, we're basically just, it's a, it's a search and destroy, so we're looking for the UFO, we're going to destroy any surviving crew members, and um, we also want to search through the UFO, I think that would just happen automatically once we finish the mission and see what tech we can bring back from it. Let's launch the mission. Here are our fine troops. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. So let's take we'll monitor those readings from hmm. here. Strike one is authorized no. to assault. Let's switch to M Hatch. M Hatch is gonna flank up this side. Oh, he's gonna take point on this side. We get Vega to flank. And we move M hatch up to here. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. And it looks safe. Resistance here. There's no telling so let's switch on to Approach the craft with caution and JHS. If possible. And can he move up to there without dashing? Yes he can. Can he move up to there? No, he'd have to dash to get up to there. So JHS, move yourself on up to there. All looks clear so far. So let's switch back to M hatch. And we'll bring him up to here. And it's still all clear, so we bring JHS up to here. And we're all good. So, Vega. Let's move Vega all the way up to here. So you can flank around the side and use those heavy weapons. And Jelja can come up to here and do the same on this side. So, first turnover. Shouldn't be much of an alien response because I don't believe that they just pop onto the map like that. I think you have to spot them or you'll get some kind of indication that they're coming. So, once again, let's go back to our rookies and move them forward first. So, M Hatch is going to come up to this central block here. And we have two sectoids who have immediately scampered off to take cover. So, they're over there. Hmm. What kind of a shot does M Hatch have? A bad one. Okay. Does he have any? What about the other target? Bad shots on both. So I'm not going to shoot with him. I'm going to move him. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to stick him into Overwatch. So if any of the aliens try and come around this area, he should absolutely nail them down. So okay, that's good. And JHS. I'm gonna move. Yeah, I'm gonna move him up to here. I think he should have enough cover to avoid most incoming fire from there. Now, Vega, I'm actually gonna move up to here. Now, be his turnover. Right now, Jelja, I'm guessing he doesn't have much of a shot at the moment. Let's take a look. No targets available. Okay, so we can back out of that. 
However, we can move him up to here, and then we'll see if he has anything going for him. No targets available. Okay. So let's move him over to there, and then see if he can nail someone down next turn. Right, let's have a look at what they do. So he's going to be shooting at... Wow, I think he's shooting all the way at Jelja. So taking a long range shot there, but he missed all of them. Some more fire coming in, but again, there's a miss. Okay, now Vega, what kind of shots do you have? 48 and 48, I think that is. Yeah, both on 48. Uh, but we don't necessarily want to take that yet. Switch up to JHS and see if he's got anything better. 45 and the other one's 45. Can we move JHS forward to here without dashing? No, we can't. So we don't want to do that because that'll end this turn. Now, Jelja, do you have any shots? No targets available. You're a sniper, man. So, Jelja, useless as always. But we can move him up to here and we can see if he can nail one down then. Uh oh. But possibility of him getting flanked. So that's not good at all. But at least we've kind of on off those. So alternately. Is there full cover available anywhere that you can actually get to? No, I'm going to stick him in there just because I don't want him getting nailed down from behind. So Judge is out. Okay, let's bring M Hatch up to here. And hopefully with these three, we can get a few kills. So M Hatch, 45%, 45%. So let's go for a shot. One down. So the lock is with us at the moment. And let's do the same again. There's another 45% chance shot. Not so lucky this time. Okay, so Vega. He hasn't moved yet, has he? No. So we could actually bring him up to here and get him a better chance shot. But if it goes pear-shaped, I'd rather not lose him. Hmm. No, you know what? I'm going to play it safe and take the shot from here. Because he's in full cover at the moment. I don't want to waste any of his... Uh... Oh, well done, Vega. So, Vega already promoted. And he can move again. So, we've got hostiles coming in from this direction. Yeah, they're up there. So, we want Vega coming in... Where can he move to? It's going to be useful. Stick him there. No, not there there for now. So that'll be his turn over. And in fact that's all our turns over. Let's see what the aliens do. Not an awful lot. He's doing that weird shielding thing on him. And he's taking a shot. Jelja's just been hit. Right. Let's switch on to Jelja and see if he's got a good snipe shot on any of them. 55% on that one. And that's it. Hmm, but he's in a pretty compromised position from the looks of it. Any full cover? No. Alright, you know what? We're going to leave Jelja for now. Let's move Vega up to... Oh, we're really nowhere near anything useful, are we? We can move Vega up to some half cover there, I guess. Not going to be able to do anything else for this turn. The alien craft is still intact. They've got some kind of... Energy field protecting parts of the ship. Okay, well, JHS, you can come out to here. Take it, he doesn't have a shot. No, he doesn't. So, come off that. And he can, in fact, move around to here. Okay. And now, we're going to move M Hatch up to there. And we're going to stick him into Overwatch. Yeah. And Jelja is going to take that 55 shot. So let's see if the odds are in our favour. Well, they are. But he's missed anyway. That looks like he's done some damage to their cover. Aha. And it looks like one's trying to flank us. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just a bit of a particle fact. So they're doing the weird shield thing again, which I don't like at all. And another shot coming in Jelja, but this time they've all missed. Now, Vega. Can you 
nail them down with a rocket. No. Ooh, although you can get one right up to there, apparently. So he's not going to do much damage with it, but he can just about reach. Can we move him into a better position to take that shot without dashing? We can move him up to there, but then he's slightly vulnerable, so that's a bit risky. But you know what? I'm going to take it. Needs must. And just that little bit closer, we might be able to do some damage on them. Oh, you can't move and fire the weapon in the same turn. Right. Okay. Well, 48% chance shot. Take it. He He's just awesome. He really is. And I believe because they use that shielding thing, that actually takes both of them out. Which is nice. So, let's move Jelja into full cover. We don't want him taking point. Uh, and he can move again, but we won't. Um, M hatch. Bring yourself forward. Take point. And JHS, you can do the same. Try and get yourself up that side. Okay, looks good so far. And JLJ, you can enter. So, ah, it's back. Great. So he's nailing down Vega. Oh no, he's actually nailing down M Hatch. So Vega, 48% chance shot. I bet he's going to hit it. Legend. Legend. Whoa, I think you should. And we got some pistol fragments. Alright, so Vega, move up to there. Jelja, you moving up to there. And we'll switch on to JHS, who I want to come all the way up to here. Um, and has M hatch moved? No, he hasn't. So, looks like the way in's over there. So let's bring you. Uh, but then he's very vulnerable from that side. Does Vega have another move? No. Okay, we'll move M hatch up to there for now and leave him. To withstand an impact like that. At such a velocity, and Georgia must be at least an order of magnitude beyond can stay where he is. Hmm. And yet it was taken down by a single fighter, so color me not impressed. Right, now, Vega, what I want you to do is come over here. Aha. What the hell is that? Right, what kind of a shot does he have? Great, so he's gonna reload. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. Can JHS get a shot through there? I think he might actually be able to. If we I wish there was a way to turn the map. They might oh no, they probably would have shown me that in the So cover, no cover. So I think we wanna move him up to there. Now, does he have a shot? No targets available. So apparently not. And in fact, we wanted him to move up to there. But I couldn't see what I was looking at. Um, right. Can Jelja move up to there without using up all this turn? No, of course he can't. So... Jelja can actually stay where he is. And it's up to you, M-Hatch. This is a bit risky. Let's move M-Hatch round to there. And fire, please. 100%. Take it. Oh, and apparently that's mission complete. It seems to have vanished. Hmm. Shame we couldn't capture that actually. So mission complete. Let's see what's come of that. Should there be some promotions and congratulations in order? Okay, so Vega's been promoted, Jelge has been promoted, M Hatch has been promoted, JHS, I'm afraid we'll just have to wait until next time. So, Vega up to Sergeant. Excellent. We can. Ah, a rocket. Ah, okay, so. Hmm. 
And this one, suppression. Can fire a special shot that grants reaction fire at a single target. The target also suffers a minus 30 aim penalty. <sighs> Do I want that or that? That sounds awesome, but that sounds useful. Uh, basically, do we want him to tank it? As in, we do we want him shooting rockets left, right, and centre, and making it easier for everyone else, or do we want him as more of a support class? I think we want him more of a tank, so we we'll give him that. Confirm. So we're very much going down the kind of salt path, not the support bus. All right, Georgia, definitely support. So removes the sniper's rifle's restriction on firing and Overwatch after moving. Ah, uh, okay, that'd be good. Any shots taken suffer... Ah, uh, that's not so good. Allows firing at targets in any ally's sight radius. That sounds a lot more useful. So I'll take that. And Brian M. Match has become a sniper. So we've now got a secondary sniper. Um, and we don't have any options there. So, great. We've now got two snipers. And we're waiting for JHS to decide what he wants to do with his life. Ah, new research available. We can get carapace armor. And we've got a whole load of artifacts. Now, I think damaged artifacts are actually useless in terms of research. But we can sell things on the black market. Welcome so maybe we should have a look at that next time. I wanted time. to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial yeah. that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. I agree. We need them to intercept any future alien contacts. Yes. And it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. Almost certainly. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional Agreed. satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Okay. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. I Goodbye, should. Commander. Okay, so a big part of this game is actually the kind of air setup, so your interceptors and even more so your satellites. Now, building a satellite and putting it over a region or a country actually gives you uh, not it gives you a bonus to the panic level in that country, so it reduces the panic level. I'm not sure if that's a permanent redu reduction or if it's just a temp. I would imagine it's temporary. Um, but it also means that they pay you um, bonus money for having the satellite there, and it's actually quite a lot of money. Um, so, okay, awesome. Now let's go to the situation room. Believe Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. So we do have we have some sat we have a satellite over Europe and we have a satellite over America. Ah, visit the Gray Market. So let's visit the Gray Several Market. Members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. So we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. As you can see, the damaged items have no research value, so we might as well just sell those. And they these have thankfully actually come with the biggest price tag, so those two over there and you and we're gonna get ourselves we'll contact, seventy credits. Go complete transaction and it's back out. So let's pop over to research. Um, arc thrower, they got two days. So that's fine. Engineering. Now, should we build. Uh, we, we want to do the carapace armor. Uh, oh no, we actually have to research the carapace armor, I believe. So we got four nanofiber vests. Now, medkits. Maybe we should get a couple of these to put onto our support troops. So, manufacture two of those. About four of those. Ooh, that's quite expensive. Two of those. Submit the order. Okay. Satellite. They cost. Wow, they cost a lot. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build okay, so we have to build additional to uplinks. Okay, well I'll put in an order for a satellite, but I'm also going to go and have a look at facilities. We still got some room to grow up here, but if we yes, really we want do. to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, 
the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Right. So you must first build an access lift. So let's build an access lift. Begin construction. And then we want to build another satellite uplink there, I believe. Because uh, you get bonuses when things are in adjacency. Um, what else can we build? Oh, we're excavating that apparently. Well, we might as well excavate the entire... How much does it cost? Oh, we have to excavate other areas before we can excavate that area. So we can actually excavate this area. Oh no. No, we can't because we have to wait for the, sat the lift to be built. So that's all we can do here time being. Um, barracks. View s oh, we can hire more soldiers. So let's view our soldiers. So we haven't even... Right. How many have we got? We've got, we've got a few. Um, do I want to hire some more? So we got four in a squad, but I want to upgrade that to six. So I want about three available squads in rotation to start with. Uh, until I get a good, better idea of how many you really, really need. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've only got two. So yeah, we might as well hire a couple of additionals. Oh, in fact, it doesn't cost much. So we might as hire. Let's hire four. But. Uh, four? No, let's hire six. Okay, so we're hiring six. Um, soldiers, have they already arrived? No, nope, doesn't look like they have. So, as usual, everything takes... Um, unlock tactical upgrades for XCOM soldiers. What does that do? Squad size. Yes, we want that. What's that? 25 experience gear. Cool. Let's purchase squad size upgrade and we're out of money. Excellent. I mean, not excellent, we're out of money, but excellent, we can get the squad size upgrade. Um, hangar, view ship, li oh shit, I was meant to do that, wasn't I? Uh, so, do we want to order some interceptors? How much do they cost? Shit. Right, well, we got to remember to do that next time, because we've got one ship and one damaged ship. Um, mission control. And, yeah, scan for activity, I guess. Okay, so arc throw has been completed, which is excellent. So we can get one of those on now. Um, new item available, yes. So accept that. Weapon. So we can upgrade weapons. Experimental warfare. Yeah, well that doesn't. That's not really that specific. What does that cost? That just doesn't cost anything. It would take five days. That only take three days, and that will give us. Yeah, carapace armor, and that'll take 10 days, we do have the alloys, sectoid autopsy, uh -huh, that'll take 3 days, and thin man autopsy, Mm, so it looks like they might have implants, which could means that we might be able to get those implants on our soldiers. Oh, choices, choices. Um, yeah, you know what? Autopsy does aliens. Made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results Good. of the alien uh, specimen you disgusting. brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, mm -hmm. based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, mm. this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Right. 
So, we got some research going. Oh. And engineering's done. All these are done. Barracks now. Do we get those soldiers in? Still no. As far as I can tell. Huh. That's mildly irritating. Hi, rookie. Yeah, I thought I hired these bastards. I don't know. Maybe these haven't turned up yet. Um, alien containment. Oh, so great. Uh, alien containment facility is about to be uh, built. And we've got the arc throwers. We need some money to actually build the arc throwers. If we can do anything with those. So there's a containment facility. In all this glory. Okay, so they've assigned new construction. I don't think we got enough. I'll give it a go. Arc thrower, 35. So, we need more money now. Should we have a look at the grey market? Where do we get that? And barracks? No, where was it? Situation room? Ah, visit the grey market. So we got 18 corpses, 35 allies. None of these things are really worth that much, so I don't really want to be selling them. So you know what? We just have to wait until the end of the month. What day is it? And we're halfway through the month. Great. Situation room. Oh no. Mission control, not situation room. Carry on scanning. Okay, sector autopsy. That's research. So... Assign new research. I don't know what that got us. Ah, uplink targeting aim. We found they're perfect genetic copies. Each one. Oh right, so they're all copies of each other. Right. Interesting. So they've got some kind of implants that make them more beastly and more intelligent in combat, which I haven't really seen myself so far, but, you know, I take their, what they say at face value. Um, right. So, uplink targeting aim available for my... So I think we got some kind of implant that will help our troops target, which could be very useful. Especially for stuff like snipers. Um, ah, no, this is for ships. Oh, right, so we're going to put these implants into the ships. That sounds interesting. Okay. But we can't actually build it yet. So, fin men... We could autopsy that, or we could do the weapon fragments. Um, let's do weapon fragments. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Awesome. And that'll take three days. So, let's carry on. I'm waiting for the end of the month so I can actually buy stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Access left. Um, assign new con assign new construction. Maybe. Uh, build facilities. I don't think I've got enough money to build anything. Yeah, insufficient funds even to excavate. So, oh no, cost ten. Oh, of course they get more expensive. You go down. So I don't really want to use up the last of my money on that, just in case we have an emergency. Uh, 15 days for building a satellite. Great. For now, let's keep going. Weapon fragments will be done in two days, however. We're receiving a transmission Aha. From the council. Coming on screen. Okay. Target extraction. A friend of the council has come under attack by aliens in India. It would be reflect poorly...
Okay, agreed. Um, and we get $112 in reward. Fantastic. Panic reduction and two engineers. And there's no choice between missions, as far as I can tell, so we might as well just take it. So we can now take five. So we've got JHS, Horax, Vega, MH, and Kozlova. So what we really want to do is take maybe another rookie. Now, so it's whether we take out Horax or Andrea. Um, ah, now, let's edit you. Load out. So instead of your grenade, let's give you a medkit. Yeah, let's give you a med kit. Actually, is that a good idea? Yeah, it's a good idea. So give Horax a med kit. Seeing as he's the support class. And we'll take Andrea out for this mission. Right, do we have those new... We do not have new soldiers, as far as I can tell. Now, Jojo's wounded, so he can't fight anyway. Uh, so who do we want to stick in? Oh, is he Irish? I think he is. Yeah, that's that's the Irish flag. In fact, we got two Irishmen. Uh, so, do we want to take Kennedy or Walsh? Let's take Kennedy. And what to call him? Um. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there can only be one. It's going to be Colin Anfal. Confirm. I imagine he's going to be absolutely insane. Lovely little gold to you there. Very fitting. So can you customise their actual stats? Ooh. Oh, that's just... That's not stats. That's just the way they look. Don't really care so much about that. So we got Rookie Anfal, Rookie JHS, uh, Squaddy MH, Sergeant Vega, and Squaddy Horax. Looks good to me. So M Hatch, of course, is taking the role of sniper because Jelge is out one. injured. Prepare for landing. Uh, yeah, begin assault. And I think I might leave it after this mission. For this mission will be in India. Okay. India. A unit performing a dash, it looks like it's going to be inside a building, which could be interesting. Um, a high value target requires escorts. There's another escort mission. That was not so fun. Find the target, escort them to extraction point, protect the target at all costs. Noted. Thomas Hutt. A friend of the council was riding in the limo at the bottom of those steps when it was hit by an alien ambush. Right. We need you to find Mr. Hush, oh. make sure he's safe, and get him safely back to the Sky Ranger. And it looks like Juan Vega has got himself a nickname. Do the others have nicknames? Nope, just Vega. So we got Juan Doomsday Vega. And we're going to stick him over there for a second. So let's move on to our rookies. JHS, you're taking point as usual. So move you down to there. Looks all good. Uh, Anfire will also take point. So let's move him a bit further up. See if he can spot anything. So far, not so much. Horax, um, stick you down there. And M Hatch, you go and stand by this plump pot. And that's good enough for me. Okay, Vega, you come down and take up the that position there. Okay. JHS, I want you to move up a bit more. So I don't really want to make him dash, so move him to there. Still looks all clear to me. Uh, do we have any choice about which direction we go in? No, that that side looks pretty useless. So let's have Amphal 
move where's JHS gone? JHS is there, so let's have Amphor move up to here. Or hmm. That leaves him vulnerable from that direction. That leaves him vulnerable from that direction. That's probably the best option. Let's move back to JHS. And move him up to here. And that looks fine. So let's move Ampho up to here. Still no contact. Okay, Horax, you're safe to dash. So all the way up to here, please. Uh, Doomsday Vega, you can go and s hide behind this bin. If you bring death and destruction on all those who would oppose you. And M Hatch. You can move up to here. And still nothing. So, Doomsday Vega. I've got to stop calling him that. It's going to get mildly irritating. Come up to there. JHS. Up you go. Hey, we could really use a hand with these things. Aha. Those aliens? They don't look like aliens. Um. Hmm. Okay. So they want us to come down there. So you know what? Who's gonna do that? Amfo, crazy Irishman. Get your ass over there, because you're going in next time. And JHS, you're gonna be backing him up. Now, where's M match? Horax, you can provide support fire from here, should they come into trouble. In Aha, right. So there's some aliens over there. Right, Vega. Move up to there. M hatch, where is the enemy? The enemy is there. If you move up to here, can you get a shot away? No targets available. Okay, never mind. So let's have you move on up to here then. Enemy troops. Oh shit. That's not good. Luckily he's moving off. That's Enemy left. M hatch somewhat exposed. Uh. Yep, yeah, three hits. He's not going to be in a good mood. And is this guy going to follow up with some fire? No, he's moving down there, which is probably a good thing. And no fire coming in from him. Oh, yeah. So he's taken out some of the cover there. Right. So, Vega. I want you to come up to here. And see what you can do. Not a lot. Can you fire in a rocket? Do we really want to waste our rocket? Not particularly. Should really have had M hatch go up there. But never mind. Um, let's switch ourselves on to Horax and we're gonna put him into Overwatch. And we're also gonna put no we're not gonna put Vega into Overwatch, we're gonna move Vega up to here. Enemy in sight. Okay, and he spotted another enemy. Great. Which is make its way in this direction. M hatch, what can you see? 55% from there. But we really want to get you into cover. So move up to here. 55% still. So. And he can't move because he's sniper. Right. Uh, well, you can stay there. Anfo, can you hit anything? 65%. That's more like it. And you miss. Um, M hatch, you're good. JHS, you come over here and back up Vega. And can you take fire or anything? 25%, not great, but we'll give it a go. Still no first kill for JHS. Right, M hatch. 
can't fire, but he does actually have a grenade. So could he get himself out of trouble with that? The camera won't let me see. Although he could grenade... No, that would be a waste. So that thing's right... Oh my god, this is spazzy. J fucking chuck it there. Is that a good shot? Yeah, not bad, not bad. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Alright, they're kind of taking fire at the moment, so... Why don't you calm the fuck down? Oh dear. And we've lost Amphar. First casualty. Had to be him. Okay, so who have we got? So I have JHS move up to there. And 45% chance. Enemy destroyed. Taken. Right, Horax. What have you got? 70%. Take it. Oh, only a 2%. Uh, 2. Hit there. Vega, no targets available. Let's move you up to here. Any targets available now? No, nope, still no targets available. Oh, let's go and sit you behind that then. Right, M hatch, Mr. Sniper. No targets available, really. Let's move you up to this half cover, and of course you can't really do much, can you? So hunker down. Yeah. So this alien's going to be firing on Horax now. And his cover's been blown, I'm afraid. But hopefully, if we switch back to him, he should be able to nail the little bastard down. Yep. Good shot. Okay, Vega, you can stay there. JHS, I want you to come up and support him. So come all the way up to here. Okay, M hatch. How far can you move? Not massively far, so just come up to here. Oh, actually, we could take the stairs, I guess. And we do need someone to go and talk to. Uh, do I really want to send Vega down there? Not particularly. Right, now, for this turn, I'm going to leave them where they are. Wait, have we moved M hatch? Or, oh no, yeah, we've moved that match. Torax that we can't move. So, alien activity should be none. And it's none. Doomsday Vega can stay where he is, as can JHS for now. Horax, you go down for the meet and greet. If you're looking for Hutch, he's gone. He made a break down the street towards that delivery van as soon as we started taking fire. We were headed after him, but right. down here. So, the guy we're meant to be saving has run down the street M hatch you come up to here and he could actually use some medical attention so who's got the med kit is that Horax we have to do it next turn JHS come up to there ah in fact Horax right how do we use the med kit Stabilize fire. If you come up to here, and Doomsday Vega, come up to there. Oh, jumpy off a bridge, but never mind. Would we'll make some happy. Right, Horax, can you heal up N Hatch? Yes, you can. Yep. Looks good to me. Man up and get back out there. Excellent. So, Vega, move up to the car. 
M hatch, you can move up to this car. It's full cover, so enjoy it. Eyes on and we got a target. Uh oh, and he's moving in on JHS. So JHS can actually move up to here and engage the target. 32% chance, not massive, but... Oh, he got a couple of hits in, so happy with that. Alien activity, although I'm sure he's going to take a few shots at the moment. Vega, do you have any eyes on the alien? Can you get any eyes on the alien? Not particularly. So JHS is kind of on his own at the moment. Um, hmm. We want to move up to here, apparently. Oh, right, let's move Horax up next to M Hatch. Now let's switch on to JHS, and he can take another shot. And he's taking him down. First kill for JHS. Well done, son. Right. Vega, move up to there. M hatch, we don't really want to move you because you're the sniper, so you can stay there for now. Uh, we don't really want to move you either. Okay, so next turn. Let's not move him, but we do want to move him. So let's bring JHS down next to Vega. We can. Can we? Yeah, there we go. Horax, you come up to this side. Vega, dash all the way down to there. M hatch. Uh, you know what? You can stay where you are. Or maybe it'd be better if we move from over there. Uh, I'm not sure. JHS can't move. No, I'm going to leave him hatch where he is. Okay. JHS, where are you? I want you to run all the way down to here. Horax, I want you to come up to here. You're human. Thank God. Get me the hell out of here. We should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger on the double. Okay, so we've got the um, target escort. So we need to get him back to Sky Ranger. Word for you if we make it out of here. So all the way up to there, please. Uh, Vega. When you dash all the way up to, well, that might be a bit far actually. Dash up to there. That's not even a dash, is it? Um, M match. Come this side, and you can stay where you are. Horax, you come up and sit next. Oh no, you can't. Uh, you know what? You just come up and sit next to the car. M match, you good. Uh oh, hostile forces, one up there. So he's going into overwatch, that's not good. Um, can we hit? 69% chance, I'll take it. We need to nail him down right away. And Vega, as always, reliable. So Vega, move up to this car here. M hatch. Uh, stay where you are for now. Maybe my security detail should be getting its equipment from your suppliers. Maybe they should indeed. Right, I want you to. I want him to go as far as he can, really. I don't want to lose him, but where's JHS? We need him to move up as far as he can, basically. So you move all the way up to there. And Horax, you move all the way up to there. M hatch, stay where you are. Okay. 
Mr. Doomsday Vega. You move up to there. Next. You can stay there for now before I set up. You move to there. Horax, you can move up to the car. Um, M Hatch, you can move up to the car. And Hutch, you go and stand behind JHS. And stay there. And Vega, why don't you move on up to this side? And that looks good. So, no any activity as of yet. So, Vega, come up to here. And JHS, come up to here. And that will look safe, really. So, come up to here. Horax, come up to here. I make it out of here alive. I'm gonna make sure you receive all the support I can provide to your project. Yes, okay, that's reassuring. Hutch, you come up and take the position JHS had. And Vega. As much as I don't want you taking point, take point. And M Hatch, you take the position he was just in. Good. Okay. Reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy uh -huh. forces are likely closing on your location. Enemy forces. So he's going to Overwatch, but hopefully we can nail him down pretty quickly. M Hatch does he have a? No, he does not have a good shot apparently. Um, Hutch, JHS, how good a shot do you have? Oh, Ready you have to, to reload. Horax, seventy percent. Take it. Down. Okay, Hutch, you can move on up to there. Vega, moving up to here. Anyone else to move? Ah, uh, Hutch, no, I don't want to move him. M Hatch, take Vega's position. And that looks good to me. So. There's the point. Hmm. Where's our rookie? JHS. Get your ass up here. And uh, basically go and cover the point. So JHS going for a suicide run. And it all looks safe to me. So, Horax. You can come up to here. Hutch, you can go and stand in the point with JHS, and I wonder if that finishes the mission. Yes, it does. So, we lost the first operative. Like Amphal, first mission, nailed in the head. But never mind, these things happen. Um, but all in all, it wasn't a disastrous mission. Okay, so we've arrived at base and let's see what the council think of that. Okay, but first we've got a few promotions. Now, um, Sergeant Vega has been promoted again, which is excellent. So, convert ah, 100% oh, damage against robotic enemies. Plus 100 percent, so he does double damage against robots. Um, second reaction shot, if on Overwatch, and the first reaction shot is a hit. Ha! Huh, that sounds really good as well, though. So, we do we want him to be able to nail down robotics, or do we want him to have the second reaction shot? Ooh, that sounds really good. Um. 
I don't know. You know what, that sounds just way too useful to miss out on. So we'll take that. Back out. JHS has been promoted. So JHS is Assault, of course he is. Which is great. And Horax has been, has been promoted um, up to Corporal. So we can have him sprinter, he can move with three additional tiles, or covering far allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. That sounds really good, so we'll take that. Because we're not reusing really him as an assault troop, we're using him to sit behind and put down the accuracy. And then file killed in action. So we've got three sectoid corpses, three thin man corpses, and ten weapon fragments. Um, new available facility, we can have a workshop, so that adds five engineers, a J refund them resources when building vehicles, okay, use the build facilities, so it looks like we've got to build ourselves a new facility, um, and we've been given 112, which is excellent, commander. I bet you will, the new so, this morning, commander. We're excellent, glad to have more help down here. Excellent. Now, what do we want to do? Was we want you you to build us some um, arc throwers. So manufacture some of those. I'd like two of them to start with. So submit that order. I'd also like some of these. Uh, they only cost eight, so you know what? Why don't you make five of them? But we don't have that much credit, so let's make two of them then. Okay. Back out of there. Build facilities. So what can we build? Laboratory, workshop. Ah, we don't have enough money for the workshop. Don't have enough money for that. 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 Okay, so we can't build any of these yet. We can, however, excavate that. And might as well excavate that as well. So that's sweet. Down to 24 credits. Um, let's see, what do we got? View soldiers. Have the new soldiers turned up yet? Ah, yes, I think they have. So how many do we have? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Down to Pearson. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to Griffin. And one, two, three, four, five. So why don't we just hire one more? Hire. And... Ah, both our snipers are wounded. Great. And can't afford any of these. Okay. Hangar, view ship list, can we... Ah, fuck, that was what I was meant to do, wasn't it? Um, can we order an interceptor? No, because we have 14 credits, because I just spent all the money again. Clever me. Um... Okay, carry on. So I'm not going to do another mission. I'll go right up until when we get offered another mission. Um, ah, weapon fragments. Great, so weapon fragments are done. Assign a new research. So we got a new scope available for manufacture. That sounds really nice. Great, so we might want those on the snipers. In fact, we might want those on everyone, depending on what... It uses up, so we can get beam weapons. That's nine days. Carapace armor, ten days. Thin man autopsy, three days. Or five days for experimental warfare. Um, yeah, you know what? We've assembled everything we need to capture and house Let's take experimental warfare. Yes, I'm aware of this. On the well, they've got the arc for us. 
I'll get you a fucking alien. Alright. Okay, I understand that. Yes. Yes, alright. I'll, I'll get you an alien for Christmas. Just calm down. So, scanning for activity. One new soldier has arrived. Excavations are c complete. And experimental warfare has been researched. What did that give us? Oh, we can now build a, build a foundry and a phoenix cavern. cannon. That sounds fascinating. So, it's capable of delivering massive bursts of damage. Limited range. Hmm. Oh, that's for our interceptors, is it? Right, okay. And the foundry is where we can build new combat items. Which sounds kind of cool. Um, so, nine days, ten days. Let's just do the thin man. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the thin man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Okay, so Finman autopsy has been underdone and apparently they got reptile eyes. So that's, uh, that's reassuring. So let's carry on, nearly at the end of the month, so we should get some new money soon. Aha. Alien abductions, Commander, view abduction sites. Requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So we got a few abduction sites, but you know what? I'm actually gonna back out and save. And when we come back next time we'll be picking what abduction site we want to move into and uh, seeing how we do. So thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. I've been Johnny Maverick, um, and you've been a viewer, and you know, good job to you on that, That's, uh, it's not an easy job to do. Thank you for watching, let's double check, and uh, goodbye.